To perform this experiment, you'll need the following. A large beaker filled with water, a short stem transparent funnel, a medium-sized test tube of about 20 mL capacity, a few tweaks of an aquatic plant such as hydrilla, cara, elodia, etc. To begin the experiment, take a few tweaks of the aquatic plant and insert the cut ends of their stems into the tube of the funnel, like so. Quickly but carefully immerse the funnel into the bottom of the beaker containing water, as seen here. Now, fill the test tube to the brim with water. Hold the mouth of the tube with your thumb and invert the tube into the beaker and let it sip over the tube of the funnel as shown in the video. The setup is now complete. You may also add a pinch of sodium or potassium bicarbonate into the beaker to kickstart the photosynthesis process. Place the setup in sunlight. A few minutes after exposure to sunlight, you'll notice tiny air bubbles evolving from the cut ends of the stem of the aquatic plant. These air bubbles travel up through the tube of the funnel and eventually collect in the upper end of the test tube. As time passes, more air bubbles collect in the test tube. Leave the setup in sunlight until the test tube is completely filled with the gas. Now, carefully remove the test tube from the beaker while covering the mouth of the tube with your thumb. Remove the thumb and immediately introduce a glowing splinter into the test tube. You'll notice that the glowing splinter reignites with a pop sound. This test confirms that the gas produced by the aquatic plant and collected in the test tube is indeed oxygen. This simple experiment thus demonstrates that oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis in green plants.